My life has been food for as long as I can remember. The next move is to teach you. You're gonna be loving every single taste. With me, it's destiny. Love at every single bite. It's your exquisite chef here. Today, I'm gonna to teach you one of my all-time favorite. It could be served as a main dish, it could be served as a side dish, and it's a steamed mussels with a saffron cream sauce. So just go ahead and take out any mussels that have been opening. Even if there's like a tiny uh, little opening right here, you do not wanna be using those. We're gonna be using, we use a lot of shallots into this dish because for every kind of muscle that you grab, you want there to be little chunks and chunks of uh, shallots in there. So, I'm gonna splash them everywhere. The main ingredient in the broth, where that broth comes from, is white wine. And when you cook with wine, you wanna make sure it's very good wine. So if you can't drink it, then you should not be using it. And the good thing about using wine in your recipe is that you get to drink it while you cook it, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Cheers. So we wanna turn our pan to a medium high, and we're gonna put some butter into the pan. I am a Persian, and anybody that knows anything about cooking is that Iran has the best saffron in the world. There's no arguing. You wanna use very little, which is why you just take a dab, and you never wanna use saffron directly. You always wanna use it in a mortar and pestle and just grind it down. And a little goes a long, long way. You pretty much want it to turn exactly into a powder, which it has right here. Make sure our butter is nicely melted. And put our chopped shallots right into the pan. And you just want these to get a little bit of kind of a, a brownish caramelized before you add the wine. So we're gonna be using about four stalks of celery. And celery too has a very mild flavor, so all these vegetables combined really bring this uh, muscle to the next level. You want everything pretty much to be the same size. You want the shallots, the, the celery. Next thing is the garlic. You want them all be kind of the same size. So while that's cooking, we're gonna add some garlic in there. Now, we're gonna be using um, three cloves of garlic. Again, the thing about cooking is that nothing has to be perfect. As long as the flavors are there, that's really what's important, which is why I love cooking in that as long as you have really good flavors, you really can't mess it up. Just stir that. Now, this is when you wanna add your wine. You're gonna be adding uh, two cups of wine. And you want it to um, boil, because you want that whole alcohol to evaporate, yet you want to retain its uh, the wine flavor. So we're going to turn up the heat for a second just for the alcohol to evaporate. And this is when you go and add your saffron. You always want to add saffron into a liquid. You never want to cook with saffron into dry ingredients because the true color will never come out. And you want to add a couple of sprigs of thyme. Now with the thyme, you don't even have to take it apart, just add it right in. Because what happens is when you cook with thyme, the leaves fall right off and then at the end you just get to take out the actual uh, stem part or it could actually be really pretty, you leave it inside. Now the reason that I use our cherry tomatoes is that in these mussels, you want to make sure you kind of want everything the same size. So you just split, you cut them in half, and then cut them in quarters. That's really all you do. You 
want about two cups of uh, cherry tomatoes in here. And that tomato is also gonna add a lot of juice into the mussels, so. Do you see this beautiful, just yellow, kind of orange uh, color from the saffron, and then this beautiful red from the tomatoes. Not only is it gonna be so delicious, it's also really beautiful. I think with food, it should um, always appeal to your first sense, which is the eyes, and then that's when you taste it. So it should really be delicious and beautiful to present. I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit. I'm gonna put the lid on and let those flavors really marry all of it together. Put some salt and pepper. I'm gonna use a big tablespoon of salt into this. It's beautifully boiling, all that saffron. It's gone inside of these vegetables that have a beautiful flavor to it. The thyme is ready. Now this is the time where we go ahead and put the mussels. They've been scrubbed and their mustache has been pulled out. So what I do is I put them in one by one because you always want to do a double check to make sure none of these mussels are open. You see there is one that missed my eye. So this is the one you kind of want to throw out. Now once all your mussels are in pan, you want to go ahead and add some uh, fresh lemon juice. Now, the last thing you want to do is add your cream. I have some uh, heavy, heavy whipping cream here. I'm going to be adding about a cup. And once they start opening up, that's it, like this, they're done. And any ones that haven't opened up, Again, you want to do the reverse at the beginning. You want to throw them out. Boil them down for a minute or two. And turn it off. A beautiful dish. So quick. So colorful in season. All right, guys, dig in. <laughs> <laughs>